It's actually quite shocking I have not been here before. That was built in the 17th century. It was built by the king Prasat Thong, and so he built this palace in memory of their love story. Good morning from Bangkok, my friends. It is seven in the morning and I am right downtown on Sukhumvit, about to go to one of the most visited sites in Thailand. It's actually quite shocking I have not been here before considering I have been to Bangkok twice before and uh, Utaya, the former kingdom of Siam from 1350 to 1767 is just an hour's drive away. This was actually one of the biggest cities in the world at that time and obviously the biggest here in Thailand. Now you can go on your own and also stay overnight if you like but by far the easiest option is to get on a tour and that's what I decided to do because the distances from a lot of the famous temples is quite wide and unless you have your own transportation it's really not the best. So I was able to book a group tour for like 40 US dollars. I booked it on Kluk. I'm not sponsored, but I am an affiliate, so I'm gonna leave it in the description if you guys wanna go on the same tour I go on today. I hope it's gonna be good, but it is a full day thing. Like you start in the morning, you get back at night, and you see a lot. So without any further ado, I'm meeting my group at the Westin, so let's head on over there. All right, friends, we just arrived to Bang Pa in Palace. This is, of course, a recreation of the original palace that was built in the 17th century. Unfortunately, a lot of Ayutthaya was uh, destroyed by Burmese forces, which led to the end of the kingdom. Palace was rebuilt in the last couple of years and uh, is on a very large amount of ground. So it really helps if you rent the little golf carts to help you get around. How this palace came to be is actually quite an interesting story where it was built by the king Prasat Thong and he built it in memory of his parents love story uh, where he was actually an illegitimate child in the dynasty. How his parents met was when the king was shipwrecked near an island called Bang Pa In and it was his mother who saved him and looked after him. He brought her back to the palace so she became a queen and so he built this palace in memory of their love story. All right, friends, we are officially in a Utaya in the city. If I didn't mention it before, this was the former capital city of Thailand, and it was only when the Siamese army lost to the Burmese army, modern day Myanmar, that was when the capital was moved to Bangkok. But right now, Ayutthaya is still a fairly thriving city. There's about 800,000 people that live within the city limit, but this is, of course, where the ancient city stood on the ruins that uh, still remain. So we just arrived to our first stop of the day, which is Wat Yai Chaya Mongkol. And this area is mainly a lot of stupas, a lot of different Buddha statues that I think have actually been restored because from my understanding, uh, when the Burmese army came in, they cut the heads off of almost all of the Buddha statues. But the grounds here are 
very beautiful and a certain part of it kind of reminds me of Angkor Wat uh, in Cambodia if you guys remember my videos from there. So we just arrived to our lunch spot. We got a set of pad gras prao, pad thai, papaya salad, and this will tide us over for the four upcoming temples that we have yet to see. All right, friends, we just got to one of the oldest temples in Ayutthaya, which is Wat Mahathat. It is in this temple that you will find the really famous Buddha's head that became a part of the Bodhi tree because if you guys remember me saying that uh, the Burmese army had originally cut the heads off of all the Buddha statues but this particular one had like gold and jewels on it so somebody was going to actually take the Buddha's head uh, with them you know as a prize but it was too heavy so they buried it under the ground to try and come back for it later, but then weren't able to. So the Buddha's head actually got into the root system of the tree, and it was only over time that it started to come up to the surface, but was kind of a part of the tree now. So a really uh, interesting sort of discovery that I can't say I've seen anywhere else. I really should have brought a hat. It is like 35 degrees today and this isn't even the hottest season for Thailand. So if you guys come in like June, July, it's gonna be 40. I am very grateful that we are in an air conditioned coach in between places because that was the most common complaint that I read online from people that did it on their own is that it gets so hot walking from temple to temple and there's not really any places to pop into to really cool down but we are at our next temple which is Wat Phra Si San Phet. This is I think the largest temple, our guide said, uh, of the complex. This is where another royal palace was and where they had a lot of different royal ceremonies as well as where all the royal family was cremated. It is so sad that so much of it was destroyed because if it hadn't been, it probably would be on the same sort of grandeur as Angkor Wat. This is certainly the most impressive and intact temple that we have seen yet. It also has the longest name. I think it's Wat Chai Wat Hanaram. I hope I said that correctly, but this is our last stop of the day and it is just incredible. And that is our day guys. It has been a very long but spectacular journey. Absolutely worth the trip if you are in Bangkok. Overall, I did enjoy my tour. We had a really lovely tour guide. Her name is Nikki. But as a content creator, it has also been very challenging for me to be able to film everything with the 20 or 30 minutes that we get in each place. 
I think if you're not a content creator and not filming absolutely everything, the timing might actually be ideal. But for me, it was very fast and I do wish I would have had more time at each place. So as I said before, I will put the link uh, to the tour that I went on uh, in Kluke in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're thinking of coming here, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I'm sending you so much love. I hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.